One of the things I love about wearing my hair up in a bun is I get to wear my dangly earrings. I own a well, a reasonable collection of really cute dangly earrings. When I wear my hair up in a bun, you get to see them. Otherwise, they get very lost in amongst all my hair. So when I wear my hair up in a bun, I take the advantage of wearing some of my earrings I don't wear as much. And that's one of the fun parts about wearing your hair up in a bun. I think it is. Hi everyone, it's Michelle. Thank you for stopping by and spending time with me today. And I hope you're all doing well. Today I thought I would do a bit of a different video for me. It's a hair video. What happened was recently in my feeds on YouTube, a video popped up of a, a lovely lady doing a video about hairstyles that make you look younger when you're 40. Well, in your 40s basically, over 40. What she said in the video when she was doing these very simple hairstyles was she wasn't sure how they would look when she's in her 50s and in her 60s. And I thought, well, I'm in my 60s, so perhaps I should give it a try and see how I look. See if these styles that she did for the 40s will make me look younger in my 60s. So that's what I thought I'd do today. I thought I'd copy her hairstyles. Um, well, we have different hair, but so I'll try and copy her simplistic hairstyles and see if I look younger or what you think. If you think I look younger in my 60s, copying hairstyles that were recommended for women in their 40s. So I thought I'd give this a go. I'm sure you'll let me know if you think I look younger or don't look younger. And of course, I'll have my own opinions about that as well. So let's get on and have a look at these different hairstyles. I have a mirror just here in front of me to the left. So what I'll do is I'll be turning to look in the mirror sometimes. The first suggestion she said was, don't have your hair so flat on the top. Don't have it sticking to your head. I have a bit of trouble with that. I don't have great volume on the top of my hair. Um, I'd like to, I've got plenty of hair, but it does tend to take a bit of effort to get it off the crown of my head. And usually that's done if I'm blow drying it and upside down and perhaps using products and so forth. Now I'm going to tell you that I'm a lazy hair person. I think I've said this before in my videos. I am very much a lazy hair person. I probably shouldn't even have long hair because I do buy a lot of products and I use a lot of products, but as far as doing hairstyles and making my hair look great and well, these days I'm not even going to hairdressers. So I'll just warn you, I'm not a hair person per se but I thought I'd give this a go. So her first suggestion was to tease the top of your hair. I don't tease my hair ever. I mean, when I was much younger, actually I didn't really even do it when I was younger because by the time I got into my teens, that whole look was a little bit over. I do remember my older sister doing a lot of teasing and her friends would come around and get dressed up to go out and they would have these little combs and they'd be back teasing and so forth. But as I said, by the time I got into my teens, that look was a bit over because we were more into the, um, well, the hippie era and it was a little bit more about just wearing your hair natural. So I'm gonna use a brush or I could use a comb. I couldn't find a small comb. So I'll use the brush first and see how I go with a little bit of back teasing here at the crown. <laughs> I really don't enjoy teasing, so bear with me. So I'm doing the back teasing just to try and get a little bit of height there on the, the crown or the top of the hair, I should say. So there you go, there's a little bit of minor back teasing. I still wanted to keep the part in my hair and if I wanted to keep that in place, I'd probably use some hairspray. I don't use hairspray, it's very rare that I use hairspray. So there you go, there's my hair teased. What do you think? Do you think it makes me look younger? I'm not so sure. Um, 
it is good to have a bit of volume on the top but I'm not sure if teasing would be the best way to achieve that myself but she said that was a quick easy way to look younger in your 40s <laughs> so I'm trying it in my 60s One of the other suggestions was don't wear your hair in a centre part. Now I'm not sure if this is dead centre to be quite honest. I had a little bit of trouble getting my hair into the centre because it just wants to go where the natural part is and mine isn't dead centre. But it was suggested if you want to look younger wear a side part not a central part. So I'm going to change the part and flip a little bit over as she suggested. So now my hair is falling more on the, the left side than the right side which is my natural part. That's the way it naturally wants to fall. And as she said if you want to, to get more of an accentuated one-sided look you can flip one side over like that so it's looking a lot more obvious that you've got your side part going on. So. I don't know. Do I look younger with it flipped over like that? I think that um, central parts I think can suit some women and I do think this is true of all these hairstyles. I think that we're all so different with our hair and our face shapes that it depends on what suits you the most. For most of us we look better with the side part. So there it is flipped over. I don't know. <laughs> do I look young with the flip over? The next suggestion was to tease the top and do what I call some up, some down. Not necessarily half, but taking some of your hair up and pinning it back and leaving some out, but teasing it so you're getting the volume on the top. So let's have a look at my hair with what I call some up, some down. Okay, so I'm sticking some bobby pins in the back here, I've teased up the crown area to get the volume up and I do need quite a few bobby pins to put in the back. I've taken it up reasonably high by teasing it and I, I took the part out. I thought it looked better without the part. I didn't think it would work actually keeping the part in. So there it is. It's um, sum up some down. What do you think? I'm not sure about this but um, I could get it higher or I could take it a little bit lower down. So yeah I'm not really sure about the sum up sum down. Um, yeah what do you think? Do I look younger or do I look a little bit dated? <laughs> I'm not sure about this one. The next suggestion was put some waves in your hair, some waves with the curling iron in particular. So let's have a look. If you think I look younger with my hair straight, I've had it straightened. My hair is naturally wavy, not super wavy, but it's, it's a little bit wavy. So let's have a look and see if you think I look younger by using the curling iron and putting some waves into my hair.
She had a curling iron that had um, didn't have this clasp on it. I would need a special glove to use one of those because you can burn yourself really easily. Mine's got the clasp on it, which I don't love because it leaves the imprint. I think I've mentioned this before in other videos, but I feel it's a bit safer unless you have that glove. You can easily burn yourself with curling irons. They are a little bit tedious to use. I do use them um, occasionally, but they're a bit tedious to use. So, so that's one little bit of wave because she wasn't talking about too much wave. I'll come back and I'll show you what it looks like when I've done my full head of hair or at least the front. So here I am with wavy hair. So you decide. You know I think that's such a personal preference whether you like to wear your hair straight or whether you like to wear it wavy. Um, I go between the two to be quite honest. Sometimes I really like my hair wavy and sometimes I just love wearing it straight. Whether wearing it wavy makes me look younger, over 60, I'm not sure to be honest. I think that would be a personal choice. Some people might prefer it, some might not. I did do the back a little bit. So, and of course, my hair waves and takes to curl very easily because it's already got a lot of natural wave and curl in it. But you can run your fingers through these waves and loosen them up a little bit so they're not so tight. It would also depend on the size of your curling iron too, what your waves come out looking like and the product that you're using. Now, of course, it's becoming a little bit obvious that most of these simplistic hairstyles are more for medium to longer hair. But I suppose a couple of them you could try if your hair were shorter as well. I don't know, are waves more youthful? I'm not sure. So the next one that was suggested and the last one that was suggested was a messy bun. Simply putting your hair up in a messy bun can make you look more youthful apparently. Well, in your 40s it can. Does it do the same when you're in your 60s? Now, I quite often wear my hair up in a messy bun. I wear it around the house in a messy bun, a very messy bun. And when I go out, I just style it a little bit more. So let's have a look at my hair in a messy bun or a top knot and see whether I look more youthful personally I don't think it makes you look more youthful. I think it can make you look a little bit more stylish though. And my way of doing them is simply putting my hair first into a high ponytail. So that's what I'm going to do first. I'm going to have to brush out all these waves to do that. If you've got bangs, well, that's great. You don't have to do anything with the front. I have short layers in the front. I often leave them hanging down to give me a little bit more style and softness in the front. So I really try and get that ponytail. Oh, I forgot. That's the other thing she said. Wearing your hair in a ponytail. Oh, I forgot one step. Hang on, before I put it up in the messy bun, I'll do the ponytail. Now, the ponytail wasn't, was to have the part left in it. So I have to put the part back in. The ponytail was suggested to wear it medium, not too high and not too low. Pretty much just a medium height. And I do often wear, oh the elastic's on my wrist, I often do wear my hair up in a ponytail when I'm going out. I do find it easy and gets it out of my way and particularly these days if we're wearing masks. I've lost my part somehow. I usually keep a part in it. That's, that's not the best ponytail I've ever done because I messed that one up. Forgot that step. Ponytails make us look younger and I do pull it up here so it's not too tight on the top. So there we go. Do ponytails make us look younger? Do they make us look more youthful? Over 50 and 60. 
I'm not really sure if they make us look more youthful to be honest perhaps they could um, you decide okay so there's my high ponytail as I said I do try and get it up quite high and you can pull bits out initially or after you do your bun I've actually got mine loosened up a little bit there and the next step is I just twist it around I simply twist it around like that now it always turns out different every single time you do it and then bobby pins that's where the bobby pins come in and it takes a bit of fiddling you know whether you want it as high higher whether you like your messy bun higher whether you sometimes it's leaning to one side so it really is just a matter of adjusting after that and sometimes you nail it straight away it just works out it never works out if you're doing it on a video usually that's when your messy bun will be lopsided or something I don't think they make us look more youthful personally I just think they're a little bit more stylish sometimes hey guys thank you so much for watching today that was a bit different for me doing a hair video I've done a few before so thank you for watching and I hope to see you again really soon if you haven't subscribed think about subscribing red subscribe button down below hit that one and join our tribe of older women rocking the channel is called older women rock absolutely love to have you come on board and hit that subscribe button bye bye now everyone and have a fantastic day